Yo, what's going on, everyone? Ooh, what's going on? Getting, uh, taking a break from cleaning the rig. Uh, it was pretty dirty. Amazing. It was just pretty dirty. So I'm cleaning it, detailing it, getting ready for a uh, accessory install. But while I take a break, I've got a uh, customer reel that came in cleaned it upgraded bearings all that kind of stuff uh he took it out so it was squealing a little bit probably a dry bearing so i cleaned it up flush bearings um he might have just gotten something in it inadvertently you know who knows but i've got it here got it it's a uh, tattoo sv8 one to one he uses for casting flipping pitching kind of jig fishing all that kind of stuff um i've got it on one of my rods and i've got a couple of these like dummy a couple of these dummy uh casting weights just to uh practice on um, the test reels if customers want me to test the reels for them so i'm going to screw on uh, i'm gonna i'm going to tie on one of these casting weights make a couple casts to see how it does um hopefully you guys can see me here not too bad it happens with reels sometimes bearings all that kind of stuff so put this guy on make some cast see what he's talking about um sometime man this thing is chewed up all right <coughs> Ooh, bless me crazy amount of pollen out here mm. all right so i tied it on backwards i don't really need it so doesn't need to be on perfect Made a few casts. Um, it's actually not that bad. Let me break this thing off. Typical thing is like uh, a lot of times the ceramic bearings are they're a, a little bit louder than your standard uh, factory stainless steel bearing, just because of the harder material with your ceramic balls, and then your stainless steel race whereas stainless steel bearings are soft it's stainless steel ball stainless steel race so everything's a little softer so they're a little bit quieter so when you put ceramics or ceramic hybrids or anything like that they are typically louder when they cast or anything like that so you know just going through the motions on those but uh they seem to be fine and i'm gonna just make sure everything's squared away in the reel other than that, um, let me grab my guys here. Just uh, getting everything knocked out, trying to get organized for trips coming up. Uh, I've got something to install on this guy here. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Might do a video on that, might not. Just depends on how terrible it is to install and hopefully it's really easy. But other than that, smash the thumbs up guys. Post down below, knocking out a customer's reel. Um, also, I've got a bunch of the Omega stuff that I'm working on. I got 130 baits that I'm paying for them. Uh, the Genesis TI spinner baits, coleslaw, 
chartreuse shads and uh shell cracker and then all their raptures the custom raptures shell cracker purple haze hypergill and black blue chartreuse those are the four custom colors that i do for them so smash it up post down below appreciate you guys you guys have a good one and we'll talk to you later